Hey awesome doodle fans, I'm about to give you the full secret to potty training your puppy. It is very very easy, especially with all of the jump starting that we do with their potty training here. So first of all, I want you to take a look at my kitchen here. This is my back door. See I've got the bells on the back door and that goes out to the backyard. And the puppies are just one step away from this back door. You see how I have this roped off here? I've got a gate here, and I've got a gate over here as well. How many Poochie? How many Poochie puppies are all gone home now? She's all playful. Wherever your back door is that goes out to your backyard, that's where your puppy should spend most of its time. If you have a situation in your home where, let's say, and your puppy has to be on the other side of this fence before it can get to the door, it becomes really difficult if your puppy is in a different room than where the back door is. So if you have a situation like I have here, it makes potty training incredibly easy and you'll probably find that your dog is potty trained by 12 weeks old, uh, no problem. Some, some people report to me sooner. So let's say, let's say this is your kitchen and that's your crate right there and you know your puppy is in the crate. When the puppy wakes up, the first thing it's going to do is going to step out of its crate and, and have to go to the bathroom. If you're here in this room with your puppy and you see your puppy wake up, first thing you got to do is, is say, come on puppy, let's go outside, let's go outside. And you go to the back door, you ring the bells and let the puppy outside. If you open the door, grab your puppy and take it outside, then your puppy doesn't really even know how to get outside. So let's say you're at the grocery store. You come home, you open the gate, your puppy steps out, you're gonna lure your puppy out the back door. Come on puppy, let's go, let's go, let's go potty outside. Come on puppy, let's go. Your puppy will follow you outside and go to the bathroom. And what that does is that teaches your puppy how to get from its crate to outside. That's what's so important about having the crate accessible to the back door in your house. And once your dog goes outside into the grass and it squats and pees, when it squats, you say, go potty outside. Go potty outside. Good girl. Good boy. Don't give a treat. What happens is some dogs will go outside, they get ready to go to the bathroom, and then they remember that they might get a treat, and then they're too interested in the treats rather than go into the bathroom. So I don't normally use treats uh, to reward uh, for going potty outside. After your dog is done going potty, done doing its business, if it wants to play outside for a while, then play outside with it. Don't punish your puppy for going potty outside and what, what I mean by that is is a lot of puppies like to go outside and explore they want to sniff things they want to smell around and it's really really important for dogs to be able to do that and if your puppy gets to go outside and it's excited about being out there and then it goes potty and you say okay come in you got to go in the house now you just went potty then you're really Kind of punishing your puppy for going potty outside. If it wants to come back in, you know, that's fine. If it's three o'clock in the morning, you know, that's a different story. It's not, it's not party time at three o'clock in the morning. At three in the morning, it's time for your dog to come back in and get back in its crate. If you bring your puppy, you know, inside every time it goes potty, then what's going to happen is your, your dog's going to go outside and then it's going to start thinking to itself, as soon as I go potty, I have to go back in the house. So now I'm going to hold it because I, I want to have some fun while I'm outside. I don't want to go back in the house. So Aussie Doodles make these associations really, really quick. It will learn to hold it so it can play around because it knows that it's going to have, get to have a fun time uh, while you're out there waiting for it to go potty. Now. When your dog does come in, you will want to reward your dog with a treat when it comes back in the house. When your puppy's in the backyard and you want your puppy to come in, 
and you call your puppy to you and it comes into the house, give it a treat. Did you hear that barking? That was Robin barking at the back door. This is a really important lesson and I'm glad that happened just now. When your dog scratches on the back door, if you open the door, then you just taught your dog to scratch at the back door. And then you have a back door that looks terrible. It's all scratched up from dogs. Teach your dog to bark at the back door. If you've watched my other videos, and you've read the articles on my website, you'll, you'll probably see that I tell people don't teach your dog to speak, don't teach your dog to bark. There is one exception, and that is when your dog wants to come into the house. And the way you can do that is by not opening the door when it's scratching on it. Wait until your dog barks. Your dog will come to the back door. Most likely, they're going to try to physically push the door open with their paws. And when that doesn't work, then they're going to bark. As soon as they bark, you open that back door. Do that every single time. And what you'll do is you will shape a dog that always barks when it wants to come in. Now, don't be the annoying neighbor who lets their dog bark and bark and bark at the back door because it wants to come into the house and you not let it in because you don't feel like dealing with it. When that dog barks one time, you need to open that door right away. If you leave a bowl of water out, your puppy is going to drink a lot of water and it's going to have to go to the bathroom more often. And it's good to do that while you're potty training, while you're there with your puppy, so you can work with it to potty train your puppy. Now, in some other situations where you know, you're going to be in and out of the house, you wouldn't want your puppy to you know, drink a whole bunch of water and then you stick your puppy in the crate while you go to the grocery store for two hours. That's, that's not fair to the puppy. The puppy drank too much and it's going to have to pee and then you run the risk of that puppy peeing in the crate. So in those situations, let's see, what's next? Uh, bells on the back door. So bells on the back door are kind of a controversial subject. Some people say, oh, you know, your dog will just ring the bells on the back door every time it wants to go outside, even if it just wants to go outside and play. Well, that, that may be true. But what would you rather have? Would you rather have a dog that jumps on your back door when it wants to go outside or a dog who rings the bell? When you're working with your puppy for the first couple months, that door should open every time the dog rings the bell. What's going to happen is your puppy will accidentally ring the bell. Your puppy will realize that every time those bells ring, that door opens. And it's okay to, to let, the, let the puppy out every time they ring the bell. All right, let's talk about nighttime potty training. Uh, what to do with your puppy, you know, when it's time for bed. Typically when I have a, you know, eight to 12 week old puppy, I take away all food and water after eight o'clock. Now, if you watched TV from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and your puppy slept that whole time, Boy, that was really great, right? Your puppy was sleeping while, while you got to be in peace and watch TV. But then don't expect your puppy to go to bed at 10.30 and sleep till 6 the next day. It's just not going to happen. Between the hours of 8 and 10.30, you should not let your puppy go to sleep. That's when you should be playing with your puppy, playing fetch. You're going to wear that puppy out and not let that puppy go to sleep until you go to sleep. So 8 o'clock at night, take away food and water. Keep that puppy awake until you go to bed. What you'll find is that pup will, will probably sleep through the entire night because its bladder is empty and it got lots of exercise before bedtime and they'll sleep all the way through. If they don't sleep all the way through, usually what they do is they wake up one time in the middle of the night, they go outside and go potty, they come back in and go back to sleep. It is a dog's instinct to not want to eliminate where they live. And that's the whole idea behind crate training. If you don't put your puppy in a crate, 
and your puppy doesn't really get the idea of holding their bladder. They just kind of walk around your house and just pee whenever they have to. By putting the puppy in the crate for an hour at a time, they get the urge to pee, but they're not going to pee in their crate because they don't want to pee where they sleep. Your puppy begins to learn, okay, I don't want to pee in this room either because I play in this room every day. This is where my family and I hang out in the kitchen and I don't want to pee here either. As soon as you open that gate and you let that puppy into another room, that other room is fair game for puppy to go potty. That puppy's going to be like, well, this is a new area and I don't play here, so I'm going to go potty here. That's why it's so important to try to confine your puppy to you know one room like this, whether it be your kitchen or your dining room or whatever. Um, but the most important thing is that you have a crate and you have a back door that the puppy can walk to. All right, Wendy? Okay, so let's say you've, you've kept your puppy up until 10.30 at night. It hasn't had anything to drink since 8 o'clock. It's got lots of exercise. It's falling asleep in your arms. Time for bed. Puppy goes in the crate. The puppy might whimper for a little bit and then it'll fall fast asleep. And then let's say it wakes up at you know, 3 o'clock in the morning. When it wakes up, it's going to have to pee. We're not going to say, oh, puppy needs to just cry it out. They just need to make it through the night without going pee. And I'm not getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning with the puppy. That's wrong. All puppies are going to be slightly different. Some puppies might make it through the entire night when they're nine weeks old. Some puppies might need to go to the bathroom every night, you know, until they're about 12 weeks old. Eventually your dog will start making it through the night without having to go potty. If we leave the puppy in the crate for too long and they pee in the crate, then they'll get used to peeing in the crate and then you've basically taken a step back in the whole potty training process. So three o'clock in the morning, puppy's crying, put your shoes on, open the door. As soon as puppy walks out, this is where it's okay to pick your puppy up, run down the stairs and take it outside. You don't have to train your puppy to get from your bedroom to the back door at three o'clock in the morning. It's too early to do that. Initially, when your puppy is little, it's gonna have a tendency to wanna pee as soon as it steps out of the crate. Scoop your puppy up, take it outside, let it go potty. Good girl, go potty outside. Pick your puppy up, give it lots of loving. Straight back into the crate it goes. Don't play fetch with it, don't play ball with it at three o'clock in the morning. Don't teach your puppy that when they wake up they get to have a ton of fun, okay? When they wake up in the middle of the night, they can go outside and go potty, and then it's time to go back into their crate. And your puppy will accept that. They might cry a little bit when they have to go back into its crate, uh, but that's okay. You know, they'll whimper a little bit, and then they'll fall asleep, and hopefully they'll sleep until seven in the morning. Wishful thinking, right? All puppies progress at a little bit different rates, so don't get stressed out about your dog, uh, you know, peeing on the floor. When it's a puppy, it's gonna pee on the floor, and it's okay. When the puppy pees on the floor, if you pick your puppy up after it peed on the floor and take it outside, that doesn't really do anything. It, the puppy doesn't really understand, oh, I was supposed to pee outside. It's too late at that point. You don't really need to, you know, pick your puppy up and take it outside. Definitely don't scare the puppy. Don't, you know, interrupt the puppy. If they start pooping in your kitchen, it's your fault. It's not the puppy's fault. So don't try to startle the puppy. You know, if you startle the puppy mid poop, they don't, they don't know why you're startling them. They don't know that they're in trouble for pooping in the kitchen. They're just doing something that comes natural to them. So if you interrupt your dog while they're peeing in your kitchen, or you startle them, or you yell at them in any way, you're probably just gonna think you're a mean person. That's how it works, guys. I hope I explain myself properly. If you, if you follow those rules, you'll be amazed how quickly your puppy becomes potty trained. Over and out, awesome doodle fans. I'll catch you next time.